Hi friends, today I want to bring you a very interactive video. You're going to help me pick a curriculum, a math program for my kid. I have my eye in a few programs for my kid. I want to select obviously one and I just want to bring you guys with me to help me out. I will share with you the programs that I am putting my eye on and I would like to just discuss a little bit the reasons why I am looking towards those programs. Hi guys, today I want to bring you with me to help me select a math program for my kid. I have a few already that I am eyeing that I would like to, to see if it will be a good fit for my kid and I would like to just give me some uh, background if you have used that program before if you are using that program currently with your kid why are you using it the reasons why you like it or love it the reasons why your kid likes it or love it because it's very important for you as well to like it as a teacher you're the one that is implementing that program you're the one that is helping your kid and it's very important for both of you to actually like the program correct so I would like for you to help me with that. So this will be a very interactive video. I would like for you to leave those comments down below and help me out choosing a math program. You're going to help me out by telling me why you think that program in a specific is the best one, okay? So I will give you, obviously, the ones that I am looking towards. <laughs> We've been using a lot of a spiral method. If you notice, Simply Good and Beautiful Math is a spiral method as well. We use all in one easy PC, that's a spiral, and Abeka, which is a spiral method. I haven't tried something that is more mastery based. I would like to try something like that. So I am looking towards mastery and spiral. I am looking to see if I am going to stay with the spiral method or if I am going to go towards the mastery method, okay? I will just start by telling you guys the programs, why am I looking towards those programs and share with you some information in regards those specific programs, okay? And the first one that I am putting my eye on is Matthew C. It was recommended to me in the previous video where I share with you guys that I was not longer wanted to continue with Simply Good and Beautiful Math. Obviously, we're going to continue and finish on um, finishing this level, but I would like to eventually move him to another program. And I am putting my eye on Matthew C. Matthew C is a very comprehensive math program. It starts from kinder all the way to 12. Each level concentrates on a specific set of skills while continuously reviewing and integrating topics and concepts presented in previous levels. Okay, they use as well videos as well. You have a teacher guide, you have the work for the kid, which I think is very, the workbook for the kid, which I think is very important, obviously, because that's where they're going to be working. And I like the way that it's set. I like that it's black and white. There's no color. We have tried already color. And while he doesn't get distracted with the colors, at least that's what I noticed, uh, I still prefer to try something completely different from what we have tried already. And Matthew C is that type of program. You can as well add the the, the songs uh, material for the skip counting, which will help them with the skip counting. And it has a lot of materials that they can use as well as the integer blocks that they can be using to just solidify what they are learning, the concepts that they are learning. And it's very important because it's very visual. It's very, it uh, goes to, towards the, the kinesthetic side. And I think it's a good program and it's one that I am looking for because it's completely different to what we have done previously, okay? The next program that I am looking is BJU Press Math. I would like to try BJU. It's a spiral method, but it's is a combination of mastery and a spiral. If you notice, it just has chapters of that certain uh, concept. And I think that's 
completely different to what we have done previously with other programs. I like that as well, that is very colorful. And I liked the most that I like from that program is the fact that it comes with a test. You are having obviously as well more cheats to review if your kid is not understanding something is very well scripted it's almost like an all about reading but for math it's very well scripted and while i know that is more towards public schools or private schools i do can see myself being able to adjust things in order to work with us. So I think it's a program that I would like to be looking at. I am just showing you guys here how this program is looking. It has a teacher guide and it has the student workbook as well. It comes with extra materials that you can use with your kid. If your kid is not understanding, it comes as well with a test. So it has a lot of materials. It has the manipulatives as well. And while they are not obviously as the same quality as Matthew C. I can see that the materials are good quality as well. It's a good cardboard and I think that will last us, especially if we laminate them as well. That's what I usually do. They can last us even more. He's pretty careful with the when it comes to the manipulatives. The next program that I am looking is as well, and I always forget the name, but it is a Math Mammoth math mammoth is mastery based as well what i noticed with this program is that i can see that you have to go to youtube just to get some of the videos to help you out to explain some of the concepts i don't know if that will work very well for us it's something that i am really not looking to because i work outside so i think that will create a little bit of trouble i am not quite sure and that is the reason why i am expressing it here this math that I am putting my eye on, but I haven't made up my mind in which one I, I will pick yet, correct? So those three are the first ones that I am looking for is Matthew C, BJU Press and Math Mammoth. I've been looking as well at Saxon. Something that I like about Saxon is it's a still spiral method. It's continuously reviewing, even though I can tell that Matthew C reviews on previous materials as well not as often but it does have a review for previous material you have with saxon the spiral method something that i dislike about saxon is the way that things are organized inside the program i don't know something visually is not visually appealing with me so that is the reason why i am thinking still when it comes to saxon i looked at as well as apologia their math program it looks very colorful it looks very detailed i liked that what i didn't like is the fact that it, it goes to a certain level and they are just developing starting to develop the next levels meaning it just go through a certain uh, grade so to speak so i think i have seen apologia math until fourth grade and while we are using lower levels for math, he is a fifth grader, so that makes me a little bit worried. So I am looking towards those math in particular. If you have any other suggestion for math that you can leave me down below, I will be very happy and glad to just bring it out here as well for you guys and do a comparison so you can help me out get me out of this dilemma when it comes to math i think it's very important so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys enjoy the information that i just bring to you guys i hope that is beneficial for you guys if you are in the same dilemma as i you're looking for math you know that the math that you're currently using with your kid is not working out and you would like to know a little bit more about these programs i suggest you to do a research as well look to, to the things that you are looking when it comes to math for your kid, what has been working with your kid, what hasn't worked with your kid. I think you have to make a list of the pros and cons and that I think will help you out to decide. And if not just to like I am doing, ask other parents to see the reasons why they are enjoying so much their math program with their kids, okay? I will leave a video right here and I will see you then. Bye-bye.